prior, but hopefully we're good to go now. Um, we are, again, taking a look here at Belgian Guy's new park, uh, Timber Valley, and we're going to go through from the start all the way through and take a look at everything as part of this whole project. So we'll start back here again. I'm going to reiterate some of the stuff that I've already said just because I know my voice was doubled, so it was a little bit hard to hear uh, on everything. Uh, so one of my initial comments was just making sure we don't forget pathway furniture. There's a lot of nice little small detailing here, but let's not forget about the benches and the light poles and the uh, trash bins, which are really going to bring this thing to life. This front entrance is really cool. The architecture is great. I like sort of this progression through different kinds of architecture over to this abandoned building on the side. The abandoned building is maybe a little bit of a weird choice, but um, especially for our front entrance, it's more sort of a themed area thing, but I don't mind it. And it actually is really good. I like these sort of broken awnings on here. Uh, what I would suggest is something in, in the middle here. I'm not quite sure the uh, these awnings are doing it. Um, it, it just feel I, I'm not quite sure that the, the um, lights going this way, the blues going this way, and kind of the, the back and forth are really filling up the space like you wanted to. You're, you're also cutting off your main sight line up through the middle of the park to or the middle of the plaza to this main building here. So I'd almost consider getting rid of this to some extent and putting in some kind of a lower feature. Maybe it's a um, small water thing or, or something. Maybe it's these guys just side to side with a couple of um, benches or something in between. And you've got the super big plaza here, but um, it's not super well filled. Um, these flowers are sort of a little odd of an object too. Um, I don't necessarily hate it, but it's also not necessarily my favorite. And typically you'd probably have them all the same color. Uh, I do like these little details here, the plants there and the little signs and everything. The last comment I'd have here are these flags. They're, they're a little too big for me. Um, they're, they're awfully large. Um, so I, I don't know if we want to go with something different or or whatever it just seems with, with all the finer detailing that you have in here they almost seem a little bit plain so jumping on to the other side here we've got um really nice back of this building I, I like this stone i think it's an underrated object it can look really bad if it's not used well but i think this this works well um i don't know if these two trees are different on purpose considering that these three and these two are the same um, that doesn't bother me. Again, you've got a ton of space. So what I would consider doing is putting either some, some breakout little benches or gazebos or really just a couple of carts. So you could put like a little food cart or a popcorn stand or something tied to this. Um, over on this side, um, pretty interesting objects here. Those kind of look like the Wacky Worlds. Um, uh, steel wall objects, which I don't necessarily hate. Um, you've got a bit of a filling every space syndrome here where there's just so many windows and everything. Um, and the white is, is jumping out at me a little bit, but I do, I do like the overall shape of this building, um, as sort of a backdrop. I don't know if you're planning to put anything in it, but hopefully you can make it usable. This carousel has a really great covering. I'm a huge fan of this, just overall. Um, I like these trees. Uh, you don't want to block it too much, but I think you've done well for what it is. Um, this is a little bit odd here in that it is glass, and you don't have glass anywhere else up here. So you're kind of changing up what your, your overall aesthetic of the front area is. Um, maybe these guys or meant to be glass, or could be glass. Maybe it's like a skylight. Um, if it is, I wouldn't necessarily go for the blue glass. Maybe it's more of a gray or some kind of a muted color. This little sluice here down to the, the water is neat. I like this a lot. Um, the, the water tower piece itself here 
works with the river wrap is on the top. I don't necessarily like how it shows through here. I'd almost feel like you'd be better off just using an object instead, uh, just to help it fit a little better uh, overall. Uh, back onto the other side here. Got some nice buildings as well. This guy's a little small, but not too, too bad. Um, just make sure you put a use for all these and, and it's a, uh, it doesn't have to be necessarily readily apparent, but at least stick something inside of it so it's it's a little obvious that it has uh, a function. Now here you've got a bunch of seating, but I don't see where you get the food to sit there to eat the food. So make sure that you're gonna, if you have a restaurant, whether it's meant to be this guy or something else, that it's right there because there's no sense in building a big uh, seating area without having some kind of a place to sit. Uh, I do like having these kind of scattered around. Again, not a huge fan of the flowers, especially in the different colors, but, uh, or at least th this flower object, I'd almost go for the um, little 1K circular flower object. I feel like that may be a better look than those guys. But, um, you know, either way, I don't, I don't hate it, and I think it, it's, it's not too bad. All right, so let's jump over to here. We've got the disco. I like that you did the layer track to get something that fits in there well. Um, don't quite know about the B&M overall. I guess I need to take another look at disco track because I'm not thinking through it in my head super well to remember what it looks like. But um, either way, I think it's, it's nice. Um, once you get the supports on it, we'll see how all that goes. This looks like you're going for a Tivoli Medium. Um, I don't think they have 16 cars, but um, somewhere close. It's, it's pretty good, though. Uh, I mean, this is about the best you're going to get for this kind of a, a layout. I know these are a little bit difficult because they're meant to be compact, but our CT doesn't really cooperate with all of that. Um, let's jump over here to the GCI. I know you said in your comments to me earlier that you weren't as happy with this one as as much of others. Oh, and I see this was meant to be photo there, but that's not bad. So you mentioned that the station is tall, um, and you didn't necessarily like that. It is tall. It doesn't have to be this tall. Um, above your area here, you've got one, you know, plus a little bit more. So you could put the peak of this roof above the the station fly through instead, and fall off either side if you want to bring it down a couple. I don't think you need to. It, it doesn't really bother me that it's that high, um, but I, if, you, if it's really getting to you, then you can bring it down a little bit more. Um, so you got your queue line coming through here. Let's um, go underneath your maintenance area. Um, okay, so let's take a look at this layout. You've got a 10 car train, make it 12 cars, first of all. Um, I would suggest that uh, you either make the station longer if you need to, but 12 cars is the GCI standard. Got a little bit of Thunderbird layout going on here, I feel like. I like the station fly through, it feels natural. On the whole, it's a good flowing layout. I don't like this unbanked corner here. I think that needs uh, a little bit of touch. And I'm not a huge fan of the, the cut through here. So I'm not a huge fan of this right, this uh, track cut through here and also the path, the queue line cut through. And here's why, because this being what I assume to be your maintenance building um, would have a part storage and, and a train breakdown spot up underneath. And there's really nowhere to do that. Um, in addition, then you're gonna need your, your transfer track in here somewhere. And the way that works is by sliding over, which you can't do currently right here. So if you can, I would try and get this whole section here shifted over to one tile, and then you've got the space to make that happen. So it's like a three by whatever, and then your brake run comes up the center, and then you have the spare track just on the side. So that'd be the best way to go about doing the, uh, uh, the maintenance area. I mean, on the whole, it's got a pretty GCI feeling. You kind of have those little, you know, ups into the corners here. And uh, I like this guy here is nice. Um, like I said, this curved piece is the thing that needs the most, uh, or unbanked piece needs the most help. I, I don't necessarily like the flat bit here, but I also 
find myself building a lot more flat diagonals than I used to, um, just because it, it feels like it's an easy transition that, that doesn't necessarily warrant a bank all the time. So oh. that, that's cool. I, I don't really mind. Um, nice little attempted footers anyway, because it does kind of screw up if you go underneath of it. It's a little bit of a challenge there. One last layout, just fun fact, I don't really expect anything changes here, but when GCI does their layouts, they don't have curves over top of, of crossovers. So like, let's, uh, let's find, so this guy right here crossing over, um, GCI wouldn't typically do that kind of a thing because this would be a full, just standard radius corner around the entire thing. Um, and then the, the elevation changes would be applied to it afterwards. Um, the, the reason being is that the forces uh, are a little bit difficult from a supporting standpoint underneath. So they've typically avoided that. And it's kind of interesting when you go back and look at layouts now, you're going to see that a lot more often. Um, but, you know, on the whole, I, I think it's it's a decent layout. I think you can make a little bit of tweaks to it. It definitely has the compact sort of uh, Thunderbird layout that, GCI is good at it. It almost feels a little bit like Kima Boardwalk's uh, Boardwalk Bullet as well, but uh, that being a gravity group. But still, I, I think it's a nice it's a nice look overall. So get your trains up to 12 cars, bank this stuff, fix this, and, and you're golden. Okay, we got a nice um, uh, Frisbee here. I, I like the use of the Disco vehicle, actually. That's probably the closest thing we've got. Um, so it looks good um, and I like that it's peepable and everything so that's that's a nice look overall this is a nice little piece here looking down at the at the water um, even though it is off from uh, the, the general height of everything else I hope that you can come in here and put some benches or something in there just to at least liven the space up a little bit this looks a little bit of a squat um, uh, building, but you know it's not it's not the worst. I mean, the detailing is good. Th this looks like it's almost too small for people to get into, or that it's if this is how they were getting in, or this. I, I'm not quite sure what the use of that space is. So something to consider on on that uh, layer. But I mean, the the building shapes, the colors are nice. I like this red wood on the roof. I think that looks really good. Uh, let's see here. How do I want to go? Um, we'll just keep on going this way. So next we've got Saw Blade, which is Skyline Attractions uh, Horizon, it looks like. Um, so the the point of the, the Skyline Skywarp coasters is that they have two separate stations and two sections of trains with a bunch of zero cars in between to basically increase capacity and have those dueling moments on it. So like the point of the one at Sea Road San Diego is that it crosses while one's over the airtime hill, one's through the roll. Um, the challenge here is that it's, it's just a long train and there's really just one station, it looks like, unless I'm wrong on that. But uh, what I... It just doesn't feel like you're capturing the the overall feel of that. What you could consider doing um, it may look a little bit hokey, but unfortunately I think that's the way we're going to have these in this game is put a station on this curve and a station on this curve and then make an airtime hill here and then just have the train go three quarters of the length or something around. Because the idea is this this train is always touching some kind of propulsion method. So these in real life are essentially powered coasters because they're never once actually off of uh, a source of power somewhere. So, um, and that's a consideration. I think I'd make it, again, these are hard to make in, in real life. I think I probably have similar gripes with Josh's in, in the SeaWorld Park that was just released. So it, it's tough, but um, I mean, I like the attempt is there and it's kind of a neat, neat look and it's it's a, a funky little flat ride um, more so than a coaster almost but I mean if you want to keep it as far as realistic goes those are the changes that I would make um, you know it's not again not a hard or not an easy one to do properly so I I commend you for at least giving it a try
this building is nice. I like the sort of um, uh, almost like rescue center type look. And again, with the stone at the bottom, the uh, wood at the top, I, I like that. And all these little detailing pieces in here, I like that look overall. I think that, that turns out really nice. Um, it is a little odd to me because the sign says snacks, but these entrances with the doors, the, to me, they look like uh, restroom entrances, but I, I see that they're just open doors right now. So what I've kind of started to do on some of these is put the little um, uh, the corner post. There's the half height one that I think she was made. I put those on there to look like a door handle and it, it helps a little bit as far as readability goes. This is super cool. I really like that with the the tracks and everything and the the arm that looks great and then all of this through here and it carries through all the way over to the construction site here which is really really neat um that's maybe my favorite thing so far um this guy's cool through through the middle here buzzsaw um and okay so you have buzzsaw and saw blade maybe change one of those since they're both pretty similar but nice cover cue on the one side. Uh, you've got a lot of space here, uh, again, so you might consider carrying this across and putting some shade structure coverings that you can throw some benches underneath of just to break up the space a little bit and give it a little bit of, of room. I like that you have an operator booth here. I'd maybe put a small building, maybe it's like a one by two here just for a... Uh, uh, a motor room and, and for ride equipment standpoint uh, just because you'd have something i just don't really know where you'd put it here so maybe that rolls into an overall like little shade structure or something uh, let's jump back this way before we go around um i like the seating area with the picnic tables and everything very woodsy good covering this rock these kind of rocks are nice i haven't really seen that whole lot of other places so far in here so maybe that's something that you want to consider coming through all right cougar cougar strike I'm not quite sure i'm sold on the name but on the whole i do like this layout from having looked at it before um you've got the intimate wing rider thing going on here sort of a sky rush slash flying aces feel to it but uh, you also brought in some kind of interesting other elements that we'll see over here with the non-inverting cobra roll, which I think is super clever and feels a lot like the Wallaby Belgium coaster coming in 21, I think it is. I like that a lot. That, that feels right. You know, initially when I looked at it from a zoomed out, I thought, well, why'd you put a cobra roll in? But because it's not inverting and it actually just looks really good. And granted, these can do inversions considering that Flying Aces does, but... I like the choice that you've made here, the, the off-camber airtime hills here and over here. Uh, Intamin's doing a lot of those right now. Their layout guy is super into that. It's very RMC-esque. So no no issues there. I think that's, that's pretty good. Um, you have a third train sitting in here. Um, I honestly don't know where your third train would go because you've got no mid-course brake run. And you just have a single station, and I mean, you can park it back here, but I'm not quite sure it would be useful or needed. So you might even consider just making that go away. I know it always looks nicer when you have these to be able to have another train there, but it, it may not be the, the the best to keep that in there. But the transfer track is nice. Um, you do have enough width or enough length for it, which is a common mistake that a lot of people have. So I'm, I'm good with that. So over here, I'm liking this building a lot. This is your sky ride over to the other side. Um, I like the little lookout tower. I'm always a fan of, of a tower on a building, especially if it's done well. Uh, I see now as I've kind of gone around that you've done more of the blue glass that I mentioned earlier. Um, it, it doesn't bother me too much. It just seems to really jump out when you have all these warm colors around and you suddenly hit with this just one pop of cool color in here just kind of looking at everything else I mean you've got a lot of browns a lot of reds a lot of um, kind of orangish yellows and things like that so um, it's nice to call it out a little bit but it's almost just too in your face um, 
But I do like that you have the sky ride here. I'm trying to see if your it looks like your park layout's gonna kind of dead end here and then wrap around and then um, go around to the other side, which that that makes sense. I don't know if you have a loop coming in here somewhere. Ideally, parks have a loop just because they're easier to deal with, but um, from a guest navigation standpoint, but um, I'm not quite sure I see where you could have one go through here. Not not a big issue. I mean, because this sort of acts as its own thing, and there, it's not like it's a dead end. It's sort of a dead end plaza, which is, is totally fine. Um, what, what you do back here, I think, may make a difference. So if you're wrapping around here, you may want to do a, a full loop here and then come back. And then so you have your entrance loop here, essentially, and then a big loop on this side, too. So let's turn back to where we pulled away from before. Uh, another really nice building. This has some Disney vibes to it. It, it actually looks a little bit like the um, one of the um, Fantasyland buildings here at Magic Kingdom. Um, so I like that a lot. This, under, this area underneath is really cool. Um, and you've got your tables here tied to the restaurant, so that, that makes plenty of sense. Okay, Crane Disaster. Again, not quite sold on the name. Um, I do like this a lot. My only complaint is that it looks squat. It looks like it's like half the size that it ought to be, because it's nice and wide. you got your two in here, you've got your loading area, and you've got your exit over top of the, the queue and everything, but it looks like it ought to be twice as tall. And then you get a nice, much bigger swing in here. The smaller ones would have are, are generally a little less wide across because I, I see you've chosen the the Invertigo cars, which makes sense because you've got the forwards facing and the backwards facing. But it those are the four person ones are for the smaller smaller models, which I feel like if you're going to go that way, it needs to be about half this overall width. Maybe get rid of that center piece there. But again, props the to you for making it workable. So that's that's a good good thing. Um, overall um, and I like the sign like the sign is the sign is really cool here with the um, the whole thing getting hung on the on the name there so construction site back here what I'm not sure of is is this theming or is this meant to be like um, uh, a new new for 2020 kind of construction area or anything. It looks really nice. Um, if it is theming, I'd be more interested in having you make it visible. So like you have this seating area here and you've entirely blocked this whole thing off with trees. So potentially that's a, that is opened up a little bit. Maybe that's, that's the way it goes. Uh, if it's kind of meant to be back of house stuff, then that's, that's totally fine too. Um, this, truck is super cool same with this guy over here uh, earlier Th this is really really neat if it's meant that this is an access and not just theming that may be a little suspicious because i'm not sure you're getting that guy through these supports but again not something just to clarify at least from a readability standpoint as you're going forward so this little um little kids coaster little trucker um, i love the sign um, one of the best details so far as well. Uh, that's super, super cool. Um, and the layout's nice too. It's got a number of turns and some pretty good length in uh, it's a pretty small area too and good columns and catwalks. Kind of got all the, the ins and outs there. The station is neat with the little filling station sort of feel here and the um, pretty simple station, but it doesn't have to be detailed to be nice. Like the four columns that you have here, internal and a pretty big cantilever out for the rest of the station. That's a good look. Um, I think it looks really nice. Um, same thing with this canopy over here. Just load that up with benches underneath or a seat wall or something. That's the kind of look that I would think you might want to carry over into here somewhere just to give some shade, give some space for, uh, for folks to sit. And then this building, don't know what it is or what it will be for, but nice structure so far. It's a little bit thick in, in terms of all the objects that you have here, but unfortunately I think that's kind of how it goes sometimes on these. You could consider, um, Jiwas has a, a very, I think it's called very thin 
steep diagonal, which you could swap out there if you wanted to look a little less bulky and then just have your thicker ones on the main structural components. But uh, it's not bad. I, I like the look overall, and then the, um, the the roof is cool. A lot of skylights, but that's fine. Um, All righty. Uh, let's see here. Burger bar is nice. I like the use of the actual counters here, so you can theme it right into everything. The fryer inside here is a super cool detail. Really liking that. It's a good look. Uh, this flat ride, I know it got a lot of back and forth in the uh, Discord chat. I love the theming. The overall everything is super cool with it, um, but I don't know what it does. Like, is it just spin? I see there's a cable here, so I don't know if it lifts it up or, or what it does exactly. Um, I would assume it's not a Frisbee, considering you've done a Frisbee right here. Uh, if it just spins, I mean, that that's cool. I just don't quite know what it does, um, so it's not necessarily readable there. I mean, the gantry itself is, is neat. I really like that a lot. Uh, what I would say is even if it's not a working flat ride, you should still make the queue line look like it's working. Over here, you've got the, the full tile wide. It doesn't necessarily have to stay full tile, but when everything else is full tile and operational, you it calls this out really obviously when it's a bunch of quarter tile, so it could look a little bit, a little bit strange there. Um, so we've got your couple of back of house here crossing the um, the uh, pavement on this side. I actually didn't realize that this was still part of the park here. This white line is a little in your face. Um, almost looks like a parade route line. You might consider gray. It's a little bit more muted, so it, it helps uh, that look. Uh, again, really nice, really nice semi-truck here and nice use of the, the counters for the stalls. Uh, don't forget your tables and chairs and everything else. See a little bit of clothing rack here, which is kind of nice. So those are things that ought to carry through um, into the, the theming here. So, so far we've been relatively flat uh, from a rock work standpoint or landscape anyway standpoint. And then you've got this guy that you come through. It's a neat look overall from a realistic standpoint. It, it kind of raises a couple of questions. The, the first question would be, did it exist initially and did you just kind of cut through it? That is a little weird, but plausible. The other option is, is this like fake rock work that was built for the ride, which is, is fine, but it's all the way over here. And I don't think you get a lot of value out of that from a purchasing standpoint, I guess, thinking through it from a park budgeting standpoint. So it just, it's impressive, but it feels a little kind of just stuck there. And I don't really know what the main reason would be for it. I like this covered queue uh, space here with the garage on the outside. You've got the open space in the back. So, and that it's not um, a regular shape. Like the, the diagonals are used really well. Um, on the front here, some nice detailing again too. It looks like some photo op type things. What you could do is set up some, some poles here or freeze a staff member there, um, like a, a photo uh, person. And so uh, you add that little extra layer of detail there. Um, just throughout, I mean, you've got the the tree here getting sawed apart, which is so nice. There's there's a lot of really good small detail work throughout this whole thing that I'm really a huge fan of. Uh, more queue covering, more all of that up into the, the station here. So um, I like this cross over top of the, the little dip into the lift hill. Uh, you've used the eights, I think, eight across, which makes sense. Going with the Yukon Striker colors, which I actually think look really nice. I like the, the orange and the green here. Um, what I'd suggest before your lift hill starts, put a break here. B&M on all these little pre-drop deals puts a break here to uh, make sure that the speed of the train matches the speed of the lift hill, which decreases some of the uh, uh, stress on the chain as it goes up. Good treatment here for the the. Uh, catwalks around the curve that looks good um, and you've got a nice little structure here supports in general just look great those are really really nice cool drop through the building a little bit of a glit there down up 
And here we got a Holiday World Thunderbird barn special diving through and then the roll on the other side. It's kind of a shame you couldn't do a roll, you know, halfway through the barn, but I, I get it. It's not not a bad thing, but it, that would have been a neat neat touch to it. Um, got your blocks and running three trains. That's always good. Um, you probably could do with a train on the on the track uh, it looks like you've got or on the transfer track it looks like you've got a single <clears throat> load station here rather than load unload um, so I would think you could go with four trains so Shikra for example has five but they have a separate load and unload so at um, uh, for this one with the single you could probably get away with four Either way, the detailing on this whole thing is really nice. Uh, you've got a lot of really cool details. Uh, same sort of color palette you've been using throughout. All of that looking really good. This chimney doesn't quite work architecturally because if you think through this going all the way down to the ground, you run through the track. So what you may do is take this chimney and put it off board on the side so it makes a little bit more sense. Um, I know it's just a theming prop, but you probably still want to make it look, look like it's... Um, part of something there. Uh, I do like this uh, the lower slope here. Actually, what is that object? Okay, uh, it's nice shallow corrugated, shallow corrugated metal roof. Um, that's nice it, uh, from a shaping standpoint. And then you got a little bit of the um, little grating here. I don't know if that's meant to be sort of a manhole or if that's just meant to be broken up pavement. Um, on the whole, it, it sticks out a little bit, uh, so you could potentially soften it, but the I think on the whole, that, that looks nice. All right, so we cleared all of this. Uh, let's jump over to this side. Uh, all right, so you've got a water coaster here. <clears throat> Pretty simple layout, but that's all these are. Is they're simple layouts. I like this nice swoop into the drop and the splashdown. So I like that a lot. It's a good, good, simple layout overall. It's a good entry element here since this is probably one of your first rides you're going to see. Um, you might consider some interaction throughout. So you've got the switchback queue line here that uh, kind of seems a little odd considering that your other queue lines have been really meandering and have been pretty cool. What you might consider doing is taking it across and then over and then back. Um, just that you cross the water a little bit, you may consider extending this area here over and putting some water sprayers, just some jet interactions and things like that. I mean, all of that's a nice little touch for, for the overall. Um, but good sports, good everything here. I like the use of the wooden track uh, on top. It's, it's about the best look you're going to get. I wish we had this kind of mock rides water coaster track in here, but we don't. Uh, don't forget your um, space for a transfer track and things like that. Um, for this kind of thing, I mean, I don't really know how you how best to do block sections here unless you plop one at the end of the station, uh, just outside, one at the top, and then one before you drop or something. But um, if you wanted to go block sections, I don't think you need to on this kind of thing. Then you've got your Windseeker Tower here. Um, you know, on the whole, it looks pretty good. Um, plus points because it's workable, so that's that's a big step there. It, it would be great if you could cut these trains in half or a third or something just because there's, there's so many less. I can help you out with that if you need to. Just reach out and we can take a look at, at good ways to do that. Uh, all right, jumping across, we've got a Premier Skyrocket or sort of a halfway Premier Skyrocket. Uh, got the operational stuff down, it looks like, with the triple launch up and over. Um, so the, the loop here has kind of become standard in RCT Skyrockets just because of the, the non-inverting twist just looks like crap when you do it, and it also throws it off of the, uh, the single line across grid, unless you're going vertical, in which case it ends up being too big. So. I can't necessarily fault that. The, the 
run through the track has never been my favorite, but it's one of those things that you kind of ignore just because I'd rather see the ride than not see it because of something as simple as that. What I'm not a huge fan of is this roll because that's a not standard thing. I mean, I get they, I guess they could do a variant. That's not necessarily an issue, but it, it kind of extends this whole thing across here. So it feels like this whole, whole bit could squeeze up a little bit and be a little bit um, shorter. You could put a faster launch in here or something. Just, or I guess you, I guess you're using the boosters. I was gonna say because the real, the real one, the launch kind of goes up to about here, but you can't do that without having the chain piece. So I, I get it, but if it was possible to squeeze it up a little bit, it would be nice just because it's, this is way longer than it maybe ought to be. <clears throat> I I like it overall. Um, I see you going with the two car version. If you needed more momentum, you could go with the three version. Only the Sea Road Parks have done the three version because we special ordered that from Premier and they modified the ride to accommodate it and made some adjustments. Um, but that's not to say other people couldn't buy it also. The the supports are coming along really well. One of the things that is unfortunate that it's as wide as it is or as long as it is, is you'll have trouble doing their support system, which is basically one structure on this side, one structure on this side, and then some stuff holding up the, the brakes in between. It's actually a really simple and a really nice looking support structure. It's super clean, um, but it's... I mean, it is what it is, so you can't necessarily get that same look on, on the dimensions here, but somewhere you've got to give, so it's just a matter of choosing which is the thing that gives. So on the whole, not too bad. I'd, I'd see what you can do to squeeze it in if you can, but it's not the end of the world if you can't. Um, you can have this catwalk on here, too. Really, the there's no particular reason you would. I mean, you're going to do an inspection in the morning on the satyrs, but... You really don't need them because you're not going to evacuate from there. Uh, this ride is meant to, in an event of a launch failure, it'll reset to the station. So no no real issues there from a, an access standpoint. All right, I'm going to say the RMC last because it's cool. Um, all right, so I know this was one of the ones that you were working on here lately. Um, this is themed really, really well. Like, holy cow, it's it's nice. Um, Tomahawk, sort of a standard name, but I don't mind. It's just really well themed. Don't forget a fence uh, around the front, but just overall looking really good. Um, I see you've again done the quarter queue here. Not a big deal if you still make it peepable over top, but just make sure that it still reads that way. Hopefully, yes, we'll get on some of these. Um, I mean, a simple hack to fix here and everything, that's not a big issue, but I really like this pool and the way that the monorail track is, is done for that. That looks really nice overall. Um, it, it just looks good. I'm glad that you went four across rather than any more because I feel like that would be too much if you did. And the, uh, the actual tomahawk theming on the counterweights here is really, really cool. Like, that's that's neat. So that's that's my favorite of your custom flat rides so far, I think. All right, here's your landing spot for the other um, chairlift. You know, if you can't get around here and you have to go this way for the park access, that chairlift actually would save a heck of a lot of time. I see you've got a, another archway through here, so maybe there's a pathway on its way eventually cutting across here, which that wouldn't be so bad coming across. Just Beware again of the same same thing with your um, your over here because you've got the sort of mountain range going along in the back that wraps around the whole way, and then you've got this guy that just kind of goes pop right in the middle, um, kind of continues across through here. So just make sure that it, it smooths across and, and looks cohesive because you don't want it to be you know piecemeal approach there. All right, so you have Tenali here with. Uh, Nice looking helicopter with a helipad there and the uh, queue line through uh, this little uh, center or uh, building there. All right, so we've gone with the approach of um, the transfer track here on the front, uh, which is sort of a newer thing that B&M has done on a couple of their Giga coasters. 
no issues there. Thickened spine here is, is very nice. And then also this one that comes and lands in the bottom here. Typically it would have been monorail track considering that it would have come across, but unfortunately we don't have vertical monorail, monorail track. All right, so coming down through here, good start. Nice little floater hill right there, another quick head chopper there. Good steep turnarounds. It's a little strange there. Speed hill, another floater hill, another speed hill. Got a good turnaround, 270. Couple things there, ending this, and then we'll end in a high brake run. Uh, with the nice touch there, the brakes on the incline, and then the brakes down here. So I like it overall. I think it's a nice, nice looking layout. Um, it's big. It's it's definitely kind of dominating compared to the rest of, of what you've got. Um, I mean, on the whole, it, it looks good and it makes sense from a uh, a layout standpoint and kind of what B and M would do. Uh, that's a little interesting. Um, I don't mind this. I would almost consider making it look a little bit artificial, uh, just from a theme park standpoint. I mean, you've got your all your natural landscape here, and they certainly didn't have this as a natural tunnel. But um, so you might add some little artificialness there, or add some steel to the sides here, so it kind of looks like this was cut through the mountain potentially, and then has a cap put on top of it or something. I don't know, just to just to give it a little bit of differentiation. And then same with this trench here. I don't know if you've got a reason for that trench. It seems it seems like you wouldn't have that there unless there was a reason for it. <clears throat> so if there is, then cool, go for it. If not, then you might even consider adjusting the land to accommodate it. Um, on the whole, the like I said, the layout's not too bad. A little bit strange here. So you come down to a flat here. You come up. No flat up here, which is okay on the diagonal. No flat here, and then you immediately level out end bank at the same time here. I'd almost like to see this whole thing shifted back, take out this flat if you're not going to have one on this side, and then use that to level this and then bank it on two separate pieces just to balance that out a little bit because it, it can look a little... It looks a little stretched here and a little compressed here on, on the whole. But... Um, Banking is good overall. Uh, carried it up through the hill there, and the supports on, on the whole are all looking good too. Um, again, with this tunnel, I mean, it looks like they've cut through the landscape here, which is super cool if they did that since not enough parks do actual tunnel on rides. But um, that's, that's a nice nice look. Just make sure it's, it's visible. I mean, on the whole, this landscape is just really nice. Um, there's, there's a little bit of kind of minute details here with these smaller trees, um, and the smaller conifers here, which looks really nice on the whole, um, and sort of the detailing that you've got. This waterfall almost seems a little bit straight. Like I'd kind of like to see one of these a quarter tile up or use one of the diagonal pieces in there just to give it some variation. Um, you got some overhangs here, which is kind of neat. And then I, I like the embankments on on this, and then you've got the fallen trees here, which are are neat. That's a good touch, so it's clear that the logging industry has been here, and it's kind of neat to see a little bit of that impact here with the uh, with the brown and, and some of the, the uh, trash and the various parts and pieces of wood hanging around. And then back here. You've got your cliff face. I'm not quite sure how I'm feeling about the the rock walls kind of scattered around here. It it feels I see what you're going for to give it some, some of that texture with the rock, but it it feels a little fake compared to the rest of it because um, you can kind of see that dimensional bit and kind of where it starts and stops. I'd almost say rather than that, you really need to just focus on either these rocks or um, these rocks soften with the 1K like you've done, and then maybe just get rid of these entirely and, and smooth that top just a little bit. What I like to do with, with cliffs especially is to kind of round the top, and it doesn't have to be 
fully smooth, but it sort of rounds at the top, has the cliff, and then it sort of rounds at the bottom, just so it's not a straight shot over to a cliff and then down. Uh, but you're you're doing that in a lot of the places here, and it looks pretty good. Then you've sort of got these intermediate steps, which which all work really well. Alrighty, and then let's get over to the RMC here, which is I think will be the star of the show because it's uh, it's new and exciting and looks really neat. Um, I have to admit, I played with this a couple of times after you sent me the file just because I really wanted to screw around with it. Um, so first of all, theming-wise, this is really nice. Um, got the all the TPs going on with the, uh, the, the fire here and the kind of smoke signals between uh, the couple of different areas. I like that a lot. That's really cool. Make sure that you don't go too close to this. <clears throat> you don't want to copy it straight over and have the same thing, but... You know, on the whole, it looks really good. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm not quite sure what this is doing pathway-wise. This is just a viewing spot in the middle. If it is, there's not really a whole lot to view. I would almost see if you could carry something through further. I know you're trying to go across the, the roll here, but um, if it goes to a dead end, it may not necessarily be worth your time. This is neat just from a plaza standpoint. I like the couple of different ways to get up it's not just a straight stairway across the entire thing um, but the sign is nice um, you almost may make this a little bit different because the sign is three across and then you're really just cutting on the one but it's nice and visible really like the dream catcher here um, on the sign itself um, obviously fits with the name um, and then this diagonal cue is, is pretty legit I like this a lot actually um, so that, that's really neat. That'll, that'll look good. Uh, and then let's take a look at the ride itself. Um, just came in. One of the things here, which before we get too far into it, I don't see a uh, maintenance area. So you'll have to consider how you want to do that, whether it's um, down below, which is what a lot of RMCs do, um, like Lightning Rod, for example. So... Honestly, you really don't have to do much of anything there except for maybe put a garage door somewhere that is how the access gets to it. Um, that, that's something to think about here, but let's um, let's watch this first and then I'll get back to it. Purple's a good choice. It stands out really well against the brown and it just, it just looks good in general. Come on. You might consider throwing another block break right there just to clear this sooner. Unless it just broke down. Did it? Yeah, it definitely broke down. Oops. All right, we'll fix that. Got it. Nice dream catcher there too. Vertical drop. Super cool airtime hill there. Off camber hill. These solid airtime moments. I really like this right left right maneuver. Another good banked hill. Little bit slow there, but not too bad. Good roll again, a little bit slow, but not, not awful. Um, another sort of three way corner here. Final roll taken at speed, which is nice. And then into the brakes. It's a great layout overall. It looks really good. A um, little bit of pacing slowness here. It would almost behoove you to lower this a little bit and do like a double roll or something. I, I don't know, something crazy and RMC ish. Um, but uh, I really like it. I can't complain. Uh, you've got a couple of extra pieces here uh, just to help give all that across. But like I said, the, the one comment from a maintenance standpoint, I honestly think I see you've got what looks like a shift paddle shifting uh, thing here for something on the side that makes sense. But unless you also give it one tile on this side, it's not going to work. What I would recommend instead is just some kind of an elevator lift down to the, the bottom. So maybe just put a piece of track inside the station uh, there so it's a little more visible. And maybe what you do is put a, um, a garage door down here and then have some kind of a pathway that comes out to whether it's here or somewhere else. That That's one of the things that is good to think about, whether you do back a house or not, which you haven't really done in a lot of places here. So I don't know if you're going to do it, but... Like, if this is the maintenance shed for it, how does the 
maintenance guys drive a golf cart up to it or bring a forklift up to it to get get their train or parts or pieces offloaded for the winter or um, just get to it for one. It's something to consider, whether it's just a simple pathway that cuts underneath or, or whatever that may be. But it's something to consider that's going to add a little bit of extra layer of detail there to all your, your stuff. Um, but, I mean, on the whole, this is this is looking great. It's, it's a really nice addition. I really like how it uses the terrain here. So you've got this great, great wall um, of landscape down the entire backside of the park, and you put it to good use here. So that's that's a plus. Um, and it's I mean, certainly one of the better of the RMC layouts that I've seen so far since um, everybody is kind of putting these together right now. But it, it's it's looking great. Uh, so well done for that. And then I see drop tower is coming. And it looks like you'll have some kind of a unique drop through the floor sort of look here, which is, is cool. I like that too. So not too, too much um, more to say, I don't think. You're coming along really well. I see you've got a hotel marked here. I'd say we save that for last in case you run into object troubles. Um, but curious to see kind of how you're, Park layout's going to go through here and some of this this big open space. So um, I mean, you might consider having some more of the, the river expand through here. But I like the look overall. The theme is consistent, but it's still varied um, for something like this where you have sort of a logging theme overall. Uh, usually that's sort of combined or confined to just one area of a larger park theme. But... Uh, you managed to keep it interesting and varied so far here with the sort of woodsy western type look and the you know Native American themes going on over here. You've got the walking themes over here. You've got the exploration type themes over here. So on the whole, it looks really good. Um, I think you've, you've done a nice job for it and there's not really too, too much I'd, I'd change. Hopefully some of these comments were able to give you a little bit of information to help you keep on moving along but I'm interested to see this one come together because it's got some pretty unique stuff uh, so nicely done and hopefully that helped so I think with that I'm gonna sign off if anybody else would like something similar to this feel free to send it my way and I will uh, do something similar so thank you very much for watching bye